Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Along with your own prayers this morning, please remember Josephine Lunny on the occasion of her fourth anniversary for whom this Mass is offered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus strengthens us to do good and to avoid evil. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. And make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you with a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings to deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bless
Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day I accomplished my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. It's not Friday. You're surprised to see me today. The more recent translation of the Mass, the prayer that we're praying to St. Michael, they have us using language that maybe isn't as familiar since our day's learning and preparation for confirmation that we are soldiers for Christ. There are words about fighting, about battle, about being indeed soldiers. St. Paul reminds us that these words aren't new, they go right back to the scripture. But he's telling us the battle that we're fighting as we put on the armor of God is not a worldly battle with one another. That might be good to keep in mind. We're not setting out in the name of Christ to fight each other, we're setting out to fight a spiritual battle, a battle against evil, a battle against the devil. And that battle plays out in each and every choice we make every day. It's in our daily choices that we have the opportunity to truly put our faith into practice to choose between good and evil. I dare say we all remember bad choices we've made, yet I would also dare to say that they are probably few and far between. We make many more good choices. And it's important to remember that, to take the time each day to reflect on the opportunities that God puts before us, to do what we do now, to pray at the beginning of the day for the grace and strength we need to choose well, to protect ourselves by God's grace against the temptation that the devil puts before us many times, but also to reflect back at the end of the day on our choices, to be aware of the many opportunities that we chose good, that with God's grace we were able to follow him more faithfully. Indeed, we pray right now that we will in all the choices of today, in all those battles we face, choose wisely, choose good, that with God's help we might continue to fight that good fight and come to share and the reward Jesus promises to those who conquer. Trusting in our merciful and loving Lord, we present our petitions to him. For the church throughout the world, may God bestow unity among all her peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. For those elected to public office, may the Holy Spirit assist them in balancing justice and mercy in their service to the people. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for those who struggle with homelessness. May the Lord in his mercy help them find adequate shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God help us grow in our understanding of his love for us and transform us. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, especially Sister San Miguel Mullaney, IHM, and Sister Virginia Foy, IHM, may they soon rest in God's eternal light and love. Let us pray to the Lord. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, for the recovery of those who have been sickened, for the protection of the doctors, nurses, first responders, and all doing life-sustaining work who put themselves in harm's way to serve others. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, look with compassion on our petitions and grant them according to your holy will through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever for Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We will ring, our, ring out our joy at your saving help and exult in the name of our God. Spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. In your sacraments, O oh Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them. That what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. King Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and 